Hey guys, today we are going to determine which Dragon Brood is the best in this box. I kind of cut it a little bit to help myself. There is one of every pre-release kit. De determining based on just the promo pack, we'll see which one promo pack is better. Because all the other boxes are kind of the same. Because the pack is kind of random outside the pre-release pack. So we have each of these, we will open every single one of them. And also the dice, by the way, is gorgeous. And I like, so I did get a ton of dice. I like the blue ones the best, then the purple ones. Actually, the purple ones I like the best. And then the blue ones and the red ones. But we're going to go ahead and we will open each of these and look at the promo cards and look at the pack of each to determine which ones are the best. Which dragon brood is Reign Supreme, Supreme, Ataka, and we got Dragon Lord Ataka, wow. And then the very cool dice, the red dice, Dragon Lord Ataka. Pretty beast of a card. So that this pack is probably gonna be very difficult to beat, I assume. Dragon Lord Ataka. This card is very good. Against tokens, Behemoth is pretty good, Explosive Vegetation, so you get, wow, you get four uncommons. Huh, I never noticed that, but you get four uncommons in the pack. Impact, Confrontation, love this card. This card is very good, Attacker. So this, very powerful, and originally I believed red, green would be the deck to beat. Because there's a lot of great uncommons in it. Next, we're going to order, open my favorite dragon. I did pull the promo version of him, so it's nice. Ooh, nice. Foil Command. So that's a good card. I am happy to see that card, and we're going to pull out the dice. So you guys can get a better look at the dice. Is the purple dice the one that I have the most of? Because I play this deck all the time. Let's go ahead and open the pack. And the command. So you get one, two. Ooh, nice. Search for a dragon card. You do get four uncommons, huh? I never noticed that. But you get four uncommons. Flatten what card do you always want to see. This card was actually very good as well. Lose calm and yeah, so pretty cool command. I obviously would take the Dragon Lord. Dromoka. So here's hoping for another Dragon Lord. Ooh, nice, the Go Dice. Again, one of my... And then, wow, these are bombs, like holy crap. Dromoka's Command, so we got a Kologon's Command, a Dragon Lord, and a Dromoka's Command. Are these packs better than regular packs? I feel like they actually are better than regular packs, which is interesting. Dromoka's Command. Uh, press the advantage. Dragon Hunter, very good card. Explosive Vegetation, Battle Mastery. This card, it, Pacifism, green, white, very, very good. Um, yeah, this card is very good. This pack is extremely good. Love the Dragon Hunter for aggro. And we got another command. So can, we're going to get a Dragon Lord, a command. I feel like the cards that you can get are very limited. And we get, <laughs> oh no, oh no. I have a bazillion copies of this card. I just have so many of this card that it's kind of sad. But let's open the pack anyway. Uh, Minister of Pain, love this Cobra, very good Cobra. One of, in my opinion, this card is a bomb. It's so hard to beat. Dance of the Skywise, um, Acid Spirit Dragon, Coat of Venom. So anticipate Flatten's good. A lot of people were saying that this particular pack was the best colors to go into. In my opinion, it was by far the weakest of the broods. So from this pack alone, I would say Dragon Lord Ataka pack was the strongest. But we have an, one last. Dragon Lord Brood to look at. <laughs> we get yet another 
Skywise. This is a, my five or six of these already. And I actually poured a regular foil, no joke. Uh, Bell Toll to Dragon, haven't seen this one. Oh, this is the plus one, plus one dragons. Skill Wrap, ah, not bad. Ancient Carp, of course, Magic Carp. Breath, Territorial Rock, uh, Mystic Meditation. Ooh, this card is so good. I love this card. And Updraft Elemental, 1 4, not bad. So I would say this pack is, I would rank them based on this. I would rank this number one just because it has removal, it has efficient creatures, it can go big and can go uh, card efficiency. This is a very neat combat trick you can do. And yeah, I mean, it just has very big creatures for, and it has, ex, does this one have, ex, yeah, it does. It has explosive vegetation, which makes you get the Dragon Lord extremely fast. Next, I would say this card. Explosive Vegetation is very good in this format. Uh, it's got the, you know, 2-1 protection from dragons that can block dragons. It's got the command, which is always excellent. <laughs> nice to see that in foil. Pacifism is one of the premier removal spells. So I'd rank this number two. This would be uh, number, uh, this is, yeah, I feel like this is very good if you could get few dragons. Removal is always very good. Flatten is very good. And then obviously the command is kind of nice to have in foil. This card, I mean, it's meh to me. And then blue black was the first one. It was the first one to get picked out both. I went to three different pre-releases. At all three pre-releases, blue black went first. So I'm not sure why that is, but I mean, honestly, I, I felt blue black was the weakest. I could demolish. I never even saw blue black in the top eight or the top four. So like, I don't know. Everyone had Ataka or everyone had Colagon. Some people had Dromoka. If you had the Dromoka legendary dragon, that's pretty epic of a card. But Dragon Lord Ataka, in my opinion, he's the best of the Dragon Lords. And the combination of aggro removal and explosive vegetation essentially is enough to beat most decks.